At LifeBreath, indoor air quality is of the utmost importance. Our products focus on providing fresh and healthy air for residential and commercial applications. To ensure optimal performance of our heat recovery ventilators, HRVs, or energy recovery ventilators, ERVs, a qualified HVAC technician must install and balance the unit to a desired and appropriate airflow. Prior to installing your unit, please observe the following. Do not apply electrical power to the unit until after the completion of the installation, including installation of low voltage control wiring. Ensure the installation and wiring is in accordance with local electrical codes. Plug the unit into a standard designated 120 volts electrical outlet with ground. The use of an extension cord with this unit is not recommended. If the installation requires further wiring, have a licensed electrician make all of the electrical connections. The recommended circuit is a separate 15 amp, 120 volt circuit. Here is an overview of an ERV or HRV. Recirculating defrost damper, if applicable. An aluminum core for HRV or enthalpic core for ERV. Condensate drains and trays. Ports or collars. Motor. Terminal block blower, and filters. Please note that the placement or appearance of these parts can change depending on the unit you are installing. In order to install an HRV or ERV, you will need the following tools and supplies. Screwdriver, electric drill and drill bit set, screws and washers, clamps, aluminum tape, wire cutters or tin snips, zip ties, level, four to six feet of half-inch clear plastic tubing, sawzall or wall cutting tool, core drill or cement cutting tool, if required. In this video, we are going to cover a simplified installation or return-return method, wherein the HRV or ERV is connected directly to the return air duct of the furnace. Here is a schematic to illustrate the ductwork. Additionally, the HRV or ERV can be installed using a partially dedicated installation or a fully dedicated installation. For more details, refer to your installation manual. Please note, the HRV or ERV must be balanced and the airflow must be confirmed on site. The unit should be balanced on high speed with the furnace blower on. It is mandatory that the furnace blower run continuously or HRV or ERV operation be interlocked with the furnace blower. The duct configuration may change depending on the HRV or ERV model. A backdraft damper is recommended in the exhaust air duct to prevent outdoor air from entering the unit. Hanging straps have been provided in order to make the installation process easier. Please note, some units may be mounted differently. Refer to the installation manual for your unit for different mounting methods. Insert screws and washers, not provided, through the hanging strap grommets and fasten to the joist. Remove the four machine screws located on the upper side of the unit. Install the S hooks using the four machine screws. Hook the bottom grommets of the straps through the S hooks. Level the unit by pulling down vertically on the hand loops while lifting up on the bottom of the cabinet. Fold the hand loops and excess strap and secure with a zip tie. This video assumes that rigid ductwork has already been installed within the home and a flex duct connection to the HRV or ERV is required. Perform the following steps. Look for the label on the door of the unit for the port identification. Connect the interior piece of the flexible ducting to the collar or transition piece with aluminum tape and screws or a clamp. Alternate installation. If the unit you're installing features oval ports, squish one end of the flex duct to create an oval shape that fits into the oval collar. Connect the exterior part of the flexible ducting to the collar with aluminum tape and screws or a clamp. Repeat this for each collar. Ensure that the balancing damper on the collar is still accessible. 
Connect the flexible insulated ducting to the fresh air from outside port and run the duct to the supply outdoor opening. Then connect the fresh air to inside port to the furnace return air ducting. This duct line will be the supply of fresh air into the building. Connect ducting from the stale air from inside port to the return air ducting and then connect the stale air to outside port to the exhaust outdoor opening. Please note that insulated ducting is only necessary on the duct lines that connect to the outdoor openings, blue ports. The unit may produce some condensation during a defrost cycle. This water should flow into a nearby drain or be taken away by a condensate pump. The cabinet has pre-punched holes for the drain. Some units may require a different drain configuration or none at all. Refer to the installation manual for your unit. Insert the drain spout through the hole in the drain pan. Install the washer and nut onto the drain spout. Tighten the nut. Using the plastic T connector, construct a P-trap. Cut two lengths of half-inch drain hose, not included. Connect one end to the T connector. Connect the other end to the drain spouts. Position the T connector to point upward and connect the drain line. Tape or fasten base to avoid any kinks. Pour a cup of water into the drain pan of the HRV or ERV after the drain connection is complete. This creates a water seal which will prevent odors from being drawn up the hose and into the fresh air supply of the unit. Ensure this is completed prior to balancing the unit. The HRV or ERV must be interlocked to the furnace or air handler with a simplified installation and it should be interlocked to the furnace or air handler with a partially dedicated installation. Connect the HRV or ERV as shown to ensure that the furnace or air handler blower motor is operating whenever the HRV or ERV is venting. A jumper wire must be placed between two, on, and three, red terminals on the terminal block to activate the HRV or ERV for timers and or dry contact controls, or if installing the unit without a main control. Jumpers can be added between terminals on the terminal block for additional controls per the table below. Balancing the air flows is critical to ensuring that the amount of air introduced to the inside of the building equals the amount of air exhausted to the outside of the building. If these two air flows are not properly balanced, the following issues may occur. A positive or negative pressure in the house. HRV or ERV may not operate at its maximum efficiency. The HRV or ERV may not defrost properly. What you'll need. In order to balance an HRV or ERV, you will need the following tools and supplies. Digital manometer, tubing, aluminum tape. Prior to performing the air balancing procedure, perform the following steps. Make sure all duct work is properly sealed to avoid any leaks with duct mastic sealant or metal duct tape. Confirm the installation and proper operation of all the components of the HRV or ERV. Fully open the balancing dampers. Turn off all household exhaust devices, range hood, clothes dryer, bathroom fans, and close all windows and doors. Set the HRV or ERV to high speed and make sure the dehumidistat setting is off. Plug the unit into the electrical outlet. If the outdoor temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, ensure that the unit is not running into frost. If the system is a simplified or partially dedicated installation, operate the furnace or air handler at high speed. In this video, we are going to use the door ports to perform the air balancing procedure. Not all models have ports for balancing. Refer to the installation manual for your unit for additional balancing methods. Connect the applicable tubes to the low and high pressure sides of the digital manometer. Open the HRV or ERV door. 
Remove the four door pour covers by carefully pushing them out of the back side of the door. Close the HRV or ERV door. Refer to the installation manual of your unit for the identification and location of the door ports. Insert the tubes from the digital manometer into the stale air balancing ports. Using aluminum tape, seal the fresh air balancing ports. Record your reading. Insert the tubes from the digital manometer into the fresh air balancing ports. Using aluminum tape, seal the stale air balancing ports. Record your reading. Refer to the airflow reference chart in the installation manual for your unit to determine the fresh air and stale air flow rates. The default dip switch setting is high three, so ensure that the correct column is being used. Using the balancing dampers, damper down the higher airflow and repeat these steps as required until both airflows are identical, balanced, or at least within a 10% difference. Install the four door pour covers. Here's how to use the chart. Your pressure gauge will tell you the pressure in either inches of water column or pascals. This will vary home to home because the duct configurations are going to be quite different. Then use pressure value on the chart and find the corresponding CFM for stale air, exhaust airflow column, and fresh air, supply airflow column. For example, Let's say the desired and appropriate CFM for a building is 160 CFM. When you first measured the supply airflow, you had 0.70 WG or 199 CFM. And in the exhaust airflow, your measurement was 0.80 WG or 179 CFM. You'd now have to adjust the balancing dampers on both supply and exhaust collars and bring down the airflow as close to 160 CFM on both sides, which in this case, supply will have to come down to 0.87 or 160 CFM and exhaust 0.88 or 162 CFM. Note that though it's not exactly 160 CFM on both sides, it is considered to be balanced within a 10% difference. After the unit is balanced, you might want to double check both readings again as the adjustment on one airflow may produce a slight change on the other. Some fine tuning might be required. Now that you have installed and balanced the Life Breath HRV or ERV, the unit is ready to provide the building with clean, healthy, energy efficient fresh air. To learn more about a particular indoor air quality product, visit lifebreath.com.